One of the most valuable things to do before every meeting is research who you're gonna be speaking with. Now, I'm gonna give you some best practices to do this as fast as possible. The first most common way, get started on LinkedIn. I find that the company description on LinkedIn is way faster to figure out in simple terms what that company actually is doing than going to their website. Another best practice, go to YouTube. On YouTube, click on that 90 second how-to video of what explains who their business is and then go on to LinkedIn while you're listening to the audio in the background. And that for me is the best way to start learning the language that they speak about their clients, customers, how they view the world. So those two things in combination are fantastic. But now what I'd like you to show you is a very cool trick to figure out about the people that you're reaching out to. So before I share my screen, let's go into some of the concepts behind it. When I think about the decision-making process, there's usually gonna be a lot of people involved. The first person is the initiator, somebody who is looking for solutions to a type of problem that affects the business. Then they usually introduce you to the champion. And this will be defined as somebody who is willing to put their neck on the line to introduce you to the right stakeholders because they care about this initiative and they will be involved with your opportunity all the way through the end. Now finally, you're gonna try and escalate this to people who have some decision-making authority. Now there's various titles for that, but what I care more about is the persona that you're going after. And this is about what we're about to break into. So usually these three people are gonna be involved in the deal in somehow, but you don't know about them until you research them. But how do you find out that kind of sentiment based on your research on LinkedIn? Well, let me pull up my screen and show you. Over here, I'm gonna pull up Chrome, and in here is an amazing extension called Crystal Nose, and this is where it gets really interesting. On the right-hand side, you'll see this little pop-up that says View Personality. But before, here's a quick tip on how to read these online articles. First, you always see the picture, then this is called the headline, and you can see if somebody's changed it, that they're pretty savvy on LinkedIn, because it usually just defaults to your title. Then you scroll down and you see the types of posts that they have, the activity that they're doing, and then you get into the experience. But now when you start getting a sense of who is the person that I'm trying to break into to start a conversation opportunity, check out their personality. This will show you how to engage with them. So it talks to you a little bit about who Jocko is. Enthusiastic, enterprising, decisive, and this is all sorted based on what his online activity is, all from public information. So things that he's posted, the language that he used, how he engages, and so it gives you a pretty good idea of who this person is. But now you can take it to the next level. You start seeing that his type is an initiator. He likes taking risks, he likes reaching out to find innovative solutions. So if you're trying to start a conversation, look for people that have this initiator type. Now, if you wanna start a conversation, you say, hey, I wanna call Jocko so I can make a sales pitch. You can get advice on how to do it, but it also has other things that how to deliver bad news. We can see, how does Jocko like to deliver bad news? Get advice, and it may give you some ideas on what to say. With all of that in mind, please use the tools online to help you navigate stronger conversations and use things that you probably didn't always know existed to make sure that you're talking to the right people in the right way.